This is uh, another question, so this is related to the energy equations. Here we have got this uh, schematic. So water is flowing this way. We have got the flow rate. This is a horizontal 5 and the diameter is constant. This is 3 cm. The pressure drop um, across the valve in, valve in the 5 is measured to kPa. So that's the, the pressure difference delta P or the pressure drop. So we need to determine the head loss, Hayes L. So the head loss and the pumping power needed to overcome this uh, pressure drop. So for better understanding, we can draw it like this. This is the horizontal five. We have got the valve here. So this is the flow rate. This is point one, point two. The delta P is uh, the the you know the pressure drop in between point one and two. So now. Um, this is the water we know the density of the water is um, 1000 so I will not make this video long so what I will do is I'll make it short so I'm not going to write down the assumptions but it is steady and incompressible flow it is a horizontal uh, pipe so um, we no elevations so if I take the point this is point one this is point two so the J1 and the J2 this is in the same elevations so we can say here j on and j to they're equal so we can cancel it out and um, here uh, the inlet and the exit diameter this is same so similarly we can say v1 and v2 are same so no change of the velocity and the elevations now if we write down the energy equations you guys know it is um, for 2 point v on rho g alpha 1 v on square 2g J on this is the pump head it is equal p2 rho g p2 square 2g in fact alpha 2 plus j2 and you know the, the turbine head plus the hay cell the head loss that's what we are looking for so here uh, the velocity v and v2 are same we can cancel it out the elevation J and J2 are same, so we can cancel it out. Uh, we do not have any turbine for this case, so cancel this. Um, we do not have any pump, so we can cancel it out. So that means what we have is we only have this term, the this term, and the highest L. So what I can write it down, I can, if I just write it down like this, it is P on rho G. It is equal P to rho G plus Hayes L, or in other words, the head loss is P on P to rho G. So P on uh, P two, that's the pressure difference. You see, it is given two kPa. So two kPa rho is one thousand, gravity is nine point eight. Convert it into you know um, like k kilonewton is one thousand kg meter per second square you already know it so if we solve this this high cell it will get 0 0.204 meter so that's the head loss the irreversible head loss uh, for this problem so now we need to solve like the useful pumping power needed to overcome this uh, pressure drop so there are two different ways I'll show you the simple way like how we can calculate the pumping power for the pumping power the formula dip, w dot um, pump we say this is the pumping power okay so the simple formula is okay the volume flow rate and the pressure difference the volume flow rate is given here is 20 liter per second so 20 liter per second we can convert it into meter cube per second so it will be 0 0.02 meter cube per second delta p that's the pressure difference to kPa so that means let's say 2000 Pascal okay 2000 Pascal so what um, I think I should write it down here clearly so the W the pump it is equal V dot 0 0.020 this is meter cube per second I should write the unit here actually and this is 2000 Pascal um, we're looking for the units in the watt so we know one watt it is equal one pascal into 
meter cube per second. We know the conversion units. So you can cancel out this, you can cancel out this. So now we solve it, it will be 40 watt. So the W, uh, you know, so there's the pumping power for the pump. It is actually here. What it is the pumping this the pumping board is the 40 watt so that's actually the solutions or we can use other formula like w dot it is equal the mass flow gravity head loss or we can write it is we know the volume flow to so the density the volume flow rate gravity and the high cell now substitute all the values we'll get the same like 40 unit 40 watt so that's the solution of this problem and yeah so just find out some similar problem practice it and try to get the solutions so that's it we'll discuss it during the lecture